So hello, <laughs> this is Marina Strauss and I'm Sophie Gixon and we're here to speak a little bit about our project that we called um, When Our Hearts Remember, When Our Hearts Remember. And to me this is a project that has been heartfelt from the beginning, starting with my relationship to Marina and our relationship to creativity and, and how, um, because it's an interaction, interactional piece, it really brought people closer to their heart and uh, the theme is what makes your heart sing. Um, so people were um, coming with their kids and writing on their heart. So one side of the heart is a reflective piece of, and the other side is um, in a caustic, in caustic art. art piece. And on the reflective piece, you can write what makes your heart sing. So we saw some really wonderful people coming to the heart and giggling and or asking their kid, what makes your heart sing? And they would say, you know, cookies, or family, or whatever, the beach. love, the beach. So it really, um, it was really nice to see people smile and see people come to this moment of uh, singing song in their heart. I also saw a, a school of kids coming to draw the heart, like five-year-olds, the teachers, so that was really heartwarming to me to see that even at moments where we were not there in the installation, uh, there were people enjoying the sculpture and interacting with it. Um, and that was one of the things that we knew from the start, that we wanted, we, we knew some things as we were developing this project together that we wanted to have. There was the material, we wanted to use recycled material, so that's why we, we got the CDs, we put an ad and got CDs from people that were getting rid of the CDs. Uh, we knew that we wanted it to be an interactive piece and we that we wanted nature, nature in, in it too. Um, so um, for me it's been a pleasure to be part of this project, also to see how um, it it, it was an invitation for us to be part of this uh, group of artists, but then the heart took a journey of its own and it got invited to other places. It was in a garden, in a community garden in Chelsea, yes. um, and now it's coming to this conference hall. And before it went to a, to a party uh, from a colleague of ours that asked if we could have the heart installed for her graduation party of her son. Um, it's, going be, it's going to be installed in a yoga studio in December. So it's really traveling. The heart is traveling, which is really nice feeling. Um, one thing that is that also meant a lot to me is that it felt like it was a project to nurture happiness or to um, have people come into their moments of happiness. So one of my teachers, Thich Nhat Hanh, one of my spiritual teachers, Thich Nhat Hanh, and he talks about watering the seeds of happiness in ourselves as a way to grow happiness in the larger world. So to me, this project is about that. And, uh, that's very meaningful in that way. Yes, and also very important, right? We had to take care of the heart because the heart sometimes um, you know, would stay um, outdoor for a month uh, under wind and rain or sun and a few things needed to um, get attention. So it's like a metaphor for tending to our heart and taking care also of um, this land and this nature uh, which is our home and um, where we live and is such a resource for us. Um, I also wanted to add um, how um, the shape of the heart came at a second, at a, at a second later moment, phase, we, yeah. a later phase. We, when we started, we only had some idea about what we wanted to work with, but uh, the, the shape of the heart emerged as a secondary thing. So then we thought, okay, we're going to do a heart shape, and we stuck the, the CDs. Uh, later on we found out we had to use different materials so that it would be more, a, a more resistant heart. Um, <laughs> yeah, more resilient. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, 
what else I wanted to share. Um, I think one of the things that I learned through this project, it is more of a reminder um, about how we're all creative and when we connect with other people's creativity, that, that the creative energy sort of multiplies. So the invitation was for us to connect, but also to invite other people to connect. And so, as you see the sculpture, you're also invited to, to write what makes your heart sing and to really tune in to yourself and find what is it. And obviously we have a lot of different things that make our heart sing, but what is it that you want to put in this sculpture? Um, so we do have that invitation from us. Exactly. And also the heart is, this heart installation is for rent. Um, some people have already used it, used it for party and it's for anything that's heartfelt to you. And we will install it and deinstall it and um, you can contact us. Thank you. We learned that we can erase what makes people's heart sing so we can reuse this heart. It's, uh, yes. it's expandable. <laughs> exactly. Great. Enjoy it. <laughs>